Hey everyone, I'm Boone, and on today's episode of Tuesday Tools, I'm going to look at the Expression Universalizer script for Adobe After Effects. So just last month, I created a number of Premiere Pro Mogart templates. I created those using Adobe After Effects, and right after I released them, I had a user reach out to me and tell me that he got an error message and one of his position sliders wasn't working for the template. Come to find out, he was using a Spanish version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, why would this matter and why should this cause errors? Well, I created these Mogart templates using an English version of Adobe After Effects. So all the expressions that I created inside of Adobe After Effects were in English. That means if I were to save out that After Effects project and then open it up in a Spanish version of Adobe After Effects, I'm gonna have some expression errors because it's referencing those English words and not just straight index numbers. And the same thing goes for these Mogart templates. If you're using a different language version of Adobe Premiere Pro, you're gonna have issues as well because it's still referencing those same expressions I use to create those Mogart templates. So obviously the solution is to universalize these expressions, but there's a problem. I don't know how to do that, first of all. And second of all, even if I did know how to do that and rewrite all these, there's a lot of templates here, so this would be pretty tedious and it would take a lot of time to do this. So that's where this expression universalizer script comes in. This is really powerful. It's very easy with one click of a button, you can immediately universalize all the scripts in your project. You can batch universalize multiple After Effects projects. So as you can see, if you create After Effects templates or Mogart templates that you're selling, this is going to open up your product to international markets, not just those creators using English software applications. Let's have a closer look. So here's my Adobe After Effects project where I created the Mogart templates. I have my essential graphics panel open here. I have the six different templates and here's one of the main, uh, the first example here. So I have the script installed. So to open it, I'm gonna go to Window and select Expression Universalizer. It's quite simple. Over here, we have a drop-down menu. I can process the entire project to universalize all the expressions in every comp. I can do just selected comps or even selected layers, or I can uh, batch process. And then right down here, I have the specifics. I can create a log file, so first, let me just try this on an individual layer. I'm gonna process selected layers. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna grab the subscribe button and I'm gonna hit the P key because I know I have expressions on X and Y position. And right now, if you take a look at them, you can see it's effect right left position slider. This I think was one of the issues that my Spanish uh, version user was, was having a problem with. I'm gonna open up the effect controls panel. You can see there are expression controllers here. Now, let's see what happens when I universalize these. Okay, so it says it's done, universalize two effect references, and you can see how fast that was. And it tells you right here, if there are expressions that didn't, do not require universalization, they can be skipped. And it'll tell you if there were, but here there weren't. Both of these needed to be universalized. And you can see it changed the property name here. Now these should be ready to rock and roll. So now what I'm gonna do, process selected comps, and let's go ahead, create log file, I can say that in the project root, that's fine. I'm gonna add the universalize tag to the process comps, and now let's universalize. Okay, that took 2.3 seconds. Tells me where the log file was created. Now can I do, oh, and it automatically opens the log file, that's cool. So I'll just do the entire project. Bang, see how long this takes for the entire project. Okay, 22 seconds, wow, that's fast. See, imagine if I had gone through here by hand to universalize these. It would take much longer than 22 seconds, I guarantee you. Now I'm gonna full screen this project panel and right over here on the comment column, it's giving me these tags saying that three expressions were universalized, zero errors, and it gives me the date and the time. Okay, so that's Expression Universalizer for Adobe After Effects. If you wanna check that out, please follow my affiliate link down in the video description. Again, if you uh, create or sell After Effects templates or Mogart templates, this is kind of a must-have product. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, and if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.